All right, guys. Um, let's get to it. We're gonna dissect the eye. So I am. I'm printing this out as a worksheet for you, so you can follow through. We're gonna go through this worksheet. Um, and kind of follow those steps. A little bit dissect the eye. This is kind of what we should see. Maybe it's a little more helpful than me, or maybe the video doesn't work. Uh, my GoPro didn't work, so I had to record with my phone now. I lost my GoPro charger and it's a little weird, so I gotta find one. So I'll record on my phone, and I also have the book, and I am on page 748 on special senses, which was last chapter. Um, and then we got kind of here the structure of the eye, kind of talks a little bit about it all, but it also helps me kind of understand a little more. Maybe if you wanna read a little bit more about a couple of structures in there, um, you can dig in there a little more in depth, but um, pretty much we'll follow the dissection of steps and then we can kind of relate it to the book, All right? So let's do this, okay? Um, we're not gonna use this one much. We're gonna use it a little bit, but we're mainly gonna use our scissors to kind of cut throughout all around the eye and the fat. So hopefully you can see and uh, yeah, keep going. This one does have a little bit more liquid, so be careful, okay? Be very careful, just in case we can slip through the paper. I'm gonna do this in the sink. When we cut through, it's a little bit more of the liquid, okay? So, here we have our eye. I think this is the most disgusting out of the three things we're gonna do, or we've done so far, but, um, so we have our little eye. All of this is fat and muscle, which we're gonna get rid of. Okay, we have a little optic nerve coming around, kind of leaving through. So you see they're sticking out. So we're pretty much gonna get rid of all the fat and all the muscle around it, okay? Um, so if you go through the steps, uh, observe different areas. So we got our cornea, kind of right here in the front. We got our optic nerve, we got some fat, and we got some muscles in there that we can kind of see the difference in color. And you can kind of see the muscle I'm able to see, I got some fat out of it already. Okay. Um, so, trim the fat, the muscle around the eye using scissors. So we got our scissors here. And we can kind of cut through a little bit. Okay, uh, let's see. Scissors are pretty, usually a little bit sharp, pretty sharp. Just be careful not to get into the eye too much. Careful, don't get cut. You're struggling. You can fast forward this if you want. There it is. I must cut myself. I like these gloves, they're a little slippery. Maybe this is a little more helpful. Kind of cut through layers and peel it off.
I don't know what kind of scissors they have because they go through with the scissors. And... There you go. See? So I'm kind of going through the layers a little bit. I'm kind of trimming out the fat and the muscle out of the way. Starting to get that smell. Hopefully you're outside, you're outdoors. Don't stick up the house. Don't stick up the apartment. I'm in my classroom, so that's good. I'll stink up the room and we still got time. Okay. It's pretty close. Pretty decent. Okay, mine's getting there. I'm kind of trimming out all the fat around it. Just try to get as clean as, as possible. Um, just to trim it out and see the different layers. Attention students, Jonathan Castillon, please report to the main office. Jonathan Castillon, please report to the main office. Oh. That's for high school students, not for you, other students. Okay, so pretty close. I think it looks kind of similar to them a little bit. Okay, maybe you got a little bit more muscle, but. All right, so now we're gonna split it in half. Okay, so kind of hold it in between. And if it was a little tomato, kind of like, kind of like that. Okay, it's more like a mushroom now. And we're gonna split it literally in half this way. Can you see? Cool. Yeah, hopefully you can see. Okay. So we'll split it in half. A lot of liquid coming out. Ooh. All right, let's get through this. So if you look at if you look at the inside, well, this is kind of like an inside of the bowl. You'll see our little lens. It's kind of in here, kind of floating around. It looks like a little marble. You need to take it out. Look at this, this is awesome. This is so cool. Got our little lens in here, okay. Got all this liquid that's in there, all right. You can look at the iris, the pupil inside. You can even take the, the cornea out, kind of the layer on the outside. You can fill it off. So right here, they already took it out and they kind of have the, the inside. That's the iris from the sclera. So, going back to our book. So here we go. I think this picture, like, I like this a little more. Okay. So we got our little lens that we took out that we had in the middle. Right. We have our cornea that we can probably. It's just so hard and slippery. Kind of get it out. In the front. Maybe if you clean yours better, it's a little easier to take it out. Put yourselves.
it's so tough, but here you go. You can kind of open it up. You get that little iris on the inside, right? We got our lens that we took out. What else can we see? Posterior chamber on the front, anterior chamber. We got this mushroom-like structure on the inside as well. Pretty awesome. Super cool. Okay. What else do we have in here? We go through our book. Yeah, I gotta clean my book afterwards. <laughs> Here you can see that, our little blind spot in the back. Right, kind of like a little blind spot. You can see, this is so awesome. It gives the color, pigmentation. Get that retina out. And take it out. Super cool. So it reflects what we have. Remember the color of the eye reflects what you have in the back, right? iridescent reflective layer beneath the retina. Okay, this is a tapetum lucidum. We got right here. Um, we don't, but they do. A little reflective layer there. The back of the eye. Maybe we can slice this a little more. But here we can see kind of the attachment on that little nerve. Try to slice it a little bit more just to get into the structure. Crazy. So cool. So we got our eye. Okay. I don't think, it, I think it's gonna be hard to find the lacrimal duct to get out all those areas on the eye. Maybe pinpoint specifically the different structures that we talked about in our textbook, but pretty much, um, it's kind of what we have, kind of what I wanted you to see. Okay, let's see if there's any other structures that we can kind of see in here. Okay. Remember the layers, we got a little retina that's on the inside. That's one of the layers, right? So visually, as you go through it, you'll see that back part, which reflects the eye color right here that's in the back. There, that's in the back, reflects the eye color. What structures can I see in here? The aura serrata is that mushroom like that we have the, on the inside. So kind of like the mushroom like structure that we have on the inside. What else do we have? Fovia centralis will be on the part that we cut out that I just split in half just to kind of see a little more in there, see what we can find, but a lot of muscle and fat that we have in there. What else do we have? Right. We're not gonna get that in there. We probably won't see any of those different structures. Okay. A little more of that. yeah just a cool little dissection just kind of go through it um see if there's anything else that you may be able to find maybe distinguish these characteristics um throughout our eye i'm gonna open this But, so yeah, there's that, again all the slimy stuff that was in there. They're nasty. Okay. So, yeah, throw everything away, clean it up. This was our last little dissection lab. Um, hopefully, you got a little bit of hands on experience on our labs. Um, Make it a little more fun, a little less, less, um, less, less COVID, <laughs> not less COVID, but like uh, less online classes. Anyways, so yeah, all right. So uh, I'll post this worksheet. 
kind of go through those steps and maybe add a couple pictures at the end see your faces what it looks like what kind of mess you made and yeah it's our last little dissection that we have this is super cool this little maybe you can explore a little more maybe cut through it if you want but um but yes see you in class have a good break